All right, so I got the windows tinted, <clears throat> the rear windows, because it gets super hot in here, and then my AC system is going to sit right in the back seat. That'll help me to stay cool. It gets unbearably hot. So you can see it's tinted all the way around. The windows in there. Except for those, that's the goober viewing hole. And in addition to the new visors I had put in, I had a strip of tent put in there as well. It goes across, so be very nice. So I had a request to see all of the upgrades in here, so I'm gonna let everybody see that. I'm very excited about this stuff. This entire panel is is new along with this this panel piece here and the tower all of this was kind of hodgepodge together um, different colors different material and now it's a kind of brushed metal it's very nice um, see my center stack here is all new all the transponder transponder didn't even work in the other one um, got an EIS which I'm super excited about an engine monitoring system kind of does everything for you it monitors everything all in one gauge all temperature pressure fuel flows batteries etc all kind of stuff um, ADI very excited about this guy um, you know does a lot of things you got airspeed you got altitude barometric pressure you got you know your heading turn coordinators all kind of neat goodies there and then the HSI as well which does multiple things uh, if you got weather you can switch to to traffic um, it's kind of uh, attached to the 430 over here um, for uh, directional control. Uh, it's not going to sync up because I'm sitting inside the hangar, but you can kind of see. This is really cool. See all those numbers? Those are satellites. Those are the, the satellites out in space that the plane is talking to. That's pretty neat. The 650 here, very cool. Got a map. Shows where we are. Shows where we're going. Um, terrain. All kind of neat stuff. Traffic. Um, again, it's not syncing up because I'm sitting inside the hangar, but I can make my own flight plan um, and, uh, and and make all of the systems here talk. Uh, again, new transponder. The other one, <laughs> it just didn't work. Um, got some cool lights here for nighttime flying. Uh, dimmer switch on those. Also have red, you know, for true nighttime. And all the flap and all the fuel stuff, and it's. They did, a, they did a very good job. Um, shout out to University Air Center here in Gainesville. Um, they, they imagined this whole thing with me and, um, and, and created all this. Took a little while, it was a five month project, um, but I just got it back, everything's working great. Don't have any complaints, those guys did great. Uh, Chuck, you the man. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit of my upgrades. Um, if you can see, I kept the Original steam gauges here. These are I just you know, I wanted to keep the vintage feel of the plane. It's a 1977 So you know, I just kind of wanted to keep some of the old stuff like like doing a little hot rod um, New yokes had those put in the other ones were, were god-awful um, So I got the trim wheel set up here for the future. That's gonna be uh, an autopilot, which is gonna go here That's a little future endeavor um, Had to get through this first round of stuff here, so uh, this is my new panel. I had a, you know, a couple of requests. People wanted to see it um, and uh, you know, have me talk about it a little bit. So, again, rec highly recommend this stuff. It makes flying a lot easier. Um, and uh, you know, and you reach out to me if you, uh, you know, need a need a, a phone number of someone you know that can actually do this for you. I'll hook you up with with Chuck over here. All right, so I'm going to go flying again Friday, and um, I'll have another video. I plan to add uh, an additional uh, camera. It's going to be out there on the wingtip right over there. So we'll have a total of four cameras. We'll have an inside, one overhead that'll go here, um, and the belly cam, which is really kind of cool. So, um, All right, more to come. Thanks for uh, watching again and uh, subscribing to the channel.